Our camper needs a new roof. And we're learning some surprising things about our options. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And we're a little bit challenged living amazing because you probably have seen, or you may if you have not, we <laughs> ripped up the roof in our fifth wheel. Yeah, we had a we had a fight with the tree and the tree won. Now the first thing that we learned after we ripped our RV and we made a video on it is how common it is. So if you have not damaged the roof on your camper, it may be a question of not if your roof needs to be replaced, but when. Yesterday we were pretty convinced that we were going to go with flex armor. And, and then today we're pretty convinced we're going to go with RV armor. So we're going to talk about the differences. You definitely want to grab your pen and paper and make some notes. So both RV armor and flex armor are much cheaper than TPO. We are fortunate that insurance covered the replacement on our rig. We've got a thousand dollar deductible and they, we would have to pay the thousand dollars out of pocket. With the option that we're going, it's going to cover the whole repair because its price difference is so much different. We're looking probably at close to 10 grand to do a TPO roof, which is what it came with. I mean, quite frankly, it's just not as durable as the applied roofs. You know, there are two companies basically that do the applied roofs. One is a spray-on and the other is a roll-on style roof. And they're both kind of rubbery, flexible it's roofs. A, yes, it's better than, than the TPO or EPDM for that matter. Flex Armor is put on in a controlled environment and it's, it's sprayed on under very high pressure and, and fairly high temperature. It comes out of the nozzle at over 200 degrees. Right, and then the RV armor is a compound that you roll on. It's like a roll-on rubber right. roof. Right, with RV armor, they will come to you. And that's a big deal. It's done in three coats, a, a primer base coat, and then two coats of the rubberized product. Now, both companies are not stripping your roof bare. They're, they're putting it on top of the roof, and it becomes part of the original roof. Right, yes. They used whatever you have up there already. If you do want to have your roof completely stripped off and, and the stuff applied directly to the wood that you have up there, they will do that. Actually, RV Armor will do that. Flex Armor will not. They will. They said they will. It's going to cost more. Oh, and they, they don't do? recommend it. Both companies are not wanting to do that because that's what we first talked about. We said, well, let's just strip everything, right. start clean. We don't want that TPO because, you know, what if the TPO fails or whatever? But both of them don't recommend it because what happens is their product bonds to the TPO yeah. and it makes a new surface. So you no longer have to worry about the TPO. And that's yeah. how they can do a lifetime guarantee on, on that. Right. Both products come with lifetime of the coach warranty and it's transferable as many times as the coach changes hands. And that's important because as you know, if you are an RVer, the roofs are a potential area for problems. And anytime that anyone's shopping for an older RV, the roof gets a lot of inspection. Yeah. And to be able to sell something over and over again that has this lifetime warranty, that's huge. It's big, yeah, yeah. it is big and you don't have to go up on the roof and reseal every year like you do with the TPO or EPDM roof. So both of them want to patch our rip on the side and what Flex Armor wants to do is take metal and put metal down as a base. RV Armor is gonna take fabric. They're gonna take some polyester two-ply fabric mm -hmm. and put that yeah. over it. Yeah, they, they lay down a, a brush on product they stick the polyester product to that, and then they put more primer on top of that. All right, so weight is a factor because you don't really want to add a lot of weight. If you're in the RV world, you know that you have limits as to how much you can put in your rig. So how much does the roof weigh? How much does this add? The Flex Armor adds a half a pound per square foot. For our rig, we're looking at about another 150 pounds. Right, and then the RV Armor, he said it would add how much? About 100 pounds. Now the difference is with the Flex Armor, they end up with a pretty uniform roof that's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick all over. And it's about 25 to 30 gallons of product for is what we would be adding to the roof of our rig. Whereas RV Armor is rolled on, eight mm -hmm. to 10 gallons for our roof is what the, what the guy estimated. With the Flex Armor, they take everything off the roof. 
however many ACs you've got, they take them off and they take the vents off. If you have fantastic fans, whatever you have up there, it comes off. It's basically a bare roof, when the, except for the, the membrane. It, the membrane is left behind. and. Uh, but then they're able to go all the way around where the air conditioner is and all right. that. Yep. And um, so we love that idea. Yeah. And that's why we, we were sold on it. Yeah. But then we talked to RV Armor and we learned a few things. RV Armor will remove your ACs if you want. It costs a little extra. $200 per AC. Per AC, yeah. Yeah, yeah and they'll change the gasket while they do it. Sure. One of the questions I asked Flex Armor when we talked to them was, let's say I have to replace my one one of the fans and I have to cut away the product that they've sprayed on to seal it. I said, what happens? How do, how do I do that? They said, well, you have to bring it into us and we'll do it for you. One of their shops. Yeah, any one of their shops. There's only 14 of them around the country. And they are opening them up, but there's still not a lot. The nearest one right now would be uh, probably close to a 500 mile drive. With RB Armor, if you do need to do something, uh, they give you some caulk. Well, it's not really caulk, it's the material. Right. They give you the material that is applied like caulk. So if you need to do something down the line, no problem. You just yeah. use their product. They'll give right. you some leftover that you can use if you need to replace anything or if you're going to add solar, that kind of thing. To that point, to maintain the warranty, you have to take photos before and after the repair so that they can, they can see what you've done. The thing about going with RB Armor is that you are having a crew come out to you, which is convenient. We, you know, are less comfortable with that because like you said you know what if you don't like the worker or what if you don't right. like the work that's being done you're not in a shop it's not in an environment where somebody is looking over their shoulder while they work right there's they're basically working without supervision the only supervision is you the customer i think that's probably a low percentage issue I, I doubt that 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 happens very often but i'm sure it happens occasionally right so another downside of the rv armor is that it has to be in certain temperatures yeah there's like, a temperature window that, yeah and that makes it really hard if you're in the pacific northwest uh, which is where we're going to be approaching pretty soon you have to have three days of warm weather of 55 and above mm -hmm. and in that three-day window there cannot be any rain and it cannot go below freezing at night that's an issue, yeah. and I'm sure they deal with things like wind and stuff like that. Because it's being done outside, there's going to be dust is going to settle in the product. So it's not going to be as clean an in, uh, application as you would get in a controlled environment. But I don't know how important that is for a roof. Right. It's, as long as you've got that warranty, yeah. I guess it doesn't yeah. matter. Actually, the grit might help a little bit. The, the dust that settles in it might help give you a little more traction up there so you don't <laughs> slip. It doesn't mean that they're going to come to you tomorrow either. One thing that we did learn about RV Armor is because the season is short, if you're in an area that has a winter, then they have a backlog. As soon as the weather warms up where they can come out to you, it may be months. It was similar with Flex Armor. He said, I want to get you on the books because it fills up fast. So let's talk about the cost of having these roofs put on. Okay, so TPO, the roof we're not getting, is $300 a linear foot. Flex Armor, uh, the one that is applied in a controlled environment, is 189 a linear foot. It varies depending on where you're going, but let's use that as a, as a good ballpark number. That's right. And then RV Armor, the one that where they come to you and they roll it on, is how much? 150 a linear foot. They're both good products. They both give you lifetime warranties, transferable lifetime warranties. The difference is with RV Armor, they will come to you, and that's a big deal. So the advantage of the Flex Armor, we feel like, is that uh, it is a controlled environment. You don't have to worry about weather or rain when it's mm -hmm. getting done, but you're going to be in a hotel for a few days if you're a full-timer. If something happens and you have to have it repaired, you might have to drive hundreds of miles to get it fixed. Right. And that could happen. I mean, you you know, we have a 2020 rig, but that doesn't mean that a tree branch couldn't, you know, break one of our roof right. vents or something like that. Right. Yeah. If you live near a Flex Armor location and you're not full time, then Flex Armor would be a, a great oh. choice for you. You're not yeah. worried about being in a hotel. You've got one right there if you ever need anything to add anything. Yep. 
But as full timers, RV Armor is the one because we feel like it's the one today. We because do. of our lifestyle, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. fact that they're going to come to us and the fact that we can make changes yep. is big. Yeah. The Flex Armor fellow that we were talking to, John Fisher, is opening up a new facility in Prescott, Arizona. If you're in that area and you want to look into Flex Armor, give him a call. And same thing with, with RV armor. So yesterday we were pretty convinced that we wanted to go with the flex armor route, even though we were gonna to have to drive hundreds of miles to do it. And today we're pretty sure we're gonna go with RV armor. We like the idea of the convenience. If you've got one of these roofs on your rig, let us know what you think of it. And if you haven't already, join the A-Team. Subscribe and click the bell and, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. See ya. RV armor. Flex armor, RV armor, flex armor.